Let's take a look at what the trainings feature in the Formwork QMS part looks like and how it can save you a lot of time. And in my opinion, actually a gigantic amount of time. <laughs> so uh, let's take a look and let's make this brief. Um, you can find the trainings uh, section on the left side of Formwork. So first you navigate to the QMS part by clicking on QMS. And then you scroll down and click on trainings, which is partially not visible. Um, and this is only a feature for some of the paid Formwork subscriptions, so it might actually not appear here, or if you click on it, you might actually not have access. In that case, well, you have to upgrade, but we're always happy to give you a free trial if you want to actually try it out. All right, so I click trainings here, and then you can actually see I have this pretty cool training matrix of uh, people and trainings on the other side. So this is usually something you have to do manually, which is a gigantic pain because you would have to create a list of typical trainings in your company and you would have to manually create proof that every employee is actually trained on those trainings or well, the trainings which are applicable for them. And the general implementation for this would be you have to send out like PDFs for signing or even do in-person trainings where you then collect um, their signatures and then scan that and show it to your auditors. So it's completely insane and it's crazy overhead because each of these trainings has to be then essentially con conducted manually. Um, and Formwork automates all of this away. In my personal opinion, this is one of the biggest automations we have in Formwork right now, which saves you probably on a percentage uh, number the most time because now the trainings process it maybe only takes like 10% of its original time, so you save 90% of your time. On the left side, you see all the people who are in your organization, so you can add new people by navigating to settings and then to user management. I won't show you that right now. Um, you can, and on the right side, you see the trainings which you have in your company. Um, now, before I get into the trainings and the people, one interesting thing to note is that, of course, not every training might be applicable to everyone. So maybe I, as CEO, might have to go through all trainings. That kind of makes sense. But maybe someone like Sven, who is only like maybe focusing on regulatory consulting, he might not have to go through all trainings. To be fair, we would like actually realistically maybe have a separate training here for software developers. We only we also have software developers at the company, so that might be an interesting example where Sven might probably not want to go through that because he doesn't work as a software developer at the company. In any case, if you want to customize this for a person, you just click Edit Trainings, and then you get this cool pop-up, and you can uh, select the trainings which the person should, should or shouldn't do. I could like limit his trainings to these two trainings here. Next, how to create trainings. Um, this is I'll go into this first before actually sending out trainings because sending out trainings is actually very easy. Um, so to create a new training, you hit the new button in the top right corner and then you type out a title for the training. So that's kind of like obvious. You type the description, what people like should do in this training. And then you can also actually check this checkbox to note that people uh, should also additionally do an in-person training because you might want to keep track of trainings here, but also do an in-person training in addition to that. And then you can link it with documents. Um, these are documents a person should read as part of this training. Um, they will be linked in the training if you send it to someone and the person can just click on the links and view those documents. And you can also attach files if you want to attach something like PowerPoint presentations, which is a common request because I suppose all companies except ours actually <laughs> use PowerPoint presentations and maybe put like training slides in those. Um, now the most important part for me personally is this selector. So you can select whether this will be a quiz training or whether it will be a someone else confirms the effectiveness training. Um, personally, I think the quiz training is what you want in 99% of the time because that's what auditors accept and it makes the most sense. Because if you click quiz, uh, you see I can create this cool quiz here. It's super interactive. I really like it. Uh, by the way, my colleague Arla coded this, one of his first projects, completely amazing. Um, and then you can, you can add as many questions as you like. So you can add questions here, you can also remove this question. Each question can have like multiple answers, like maybe um, what's the typical way of, I don't know, taking a device off the market. And then you could say like, I don't know, uh, notify the software developers, or maybe reach out to authorities, uh, something else. And maybe one interesting aspect here is you can even add more possibilities uh, to this question. 
the main keep thing to keep in mind is that only one answer is correct. So you can uh, tick the answer which is correct, which should be identified as correct answers as part of the quiz, and then you move on to the next question. So of course it becomes diffi more difficult if you add more possibilities here. By the way, in medical school it's uh, five possibilities, so you have a 20% chance of guessing correctly. <laughs> That's how people like I end up graduating medical school. Uh, yeah, and also the, the number of questions is also a variable. You can add as many as you want. And then you save it when you're done with your training and the training is saved. Uh, one more side note is we, um, the minimum number of questions which has to be answered correctly is 60%. And uh, we round that number. So for example, with, uh, with three questions, the user would have to get two correct to pass, which is like a generally accepted number in my opinion also for medical school. <laughs> All right, now uh, the other option of creating a training, which I'll only touch upon super briefly, is this someone else confirms it. And that's actually the trainings we have right now in this company, and I can show you how it works, because that was the old way of creating trainings. So now if you have these trainings, you created these four trainings, and you have the people on the left side, let's send someone a training request. Um, to send someone a training request, you just hit send request, and you can see this is not a quiz training, but this is a someone test the effectiveness training because this selector is being shown. So you're showing, they're sending me a training request for data, data privacy training, and you now have to select someone who's going to test the effectiveness, maybe quality management officer. By the way, these roles can be customized on the left side um, under reviewer roles. So those are the same roles which also review documents. And then if I send this out, the person gets a notification via email. It pops up on the dashboard on this home uh, on this home link that you have to do the training. And the person has to go through the training, confirm that they've went through it. And then once they've done that, the effectiveness checker, the person associated with this role, uh, gets a notification to confirm their effectiveness also by uh, well, getting an email and then pushing a button essentially. If this would be a quiz training, the second step wouldn't happen and you would simply notify the person to do the quiz and then that person would need to do the quiz and pass the quiz. And based on the situation of, oh, well, the steps of the current training request, you can see um, two, like, two check marks mean the training has been passed successfully. So here are the, you can see, you can actually view this. You can see when he actually passed it successfully and who did the effectiveness check at the time. One check mark, which we don't have here right now, is the training request simply was sent out. Um, Oh, sorry, the one check mark is like the training request was confirmed by the person but still needs confirmation by the effectiveness checker. Uh, and a clock symbol means the, sim the training has only been sent out. If you're confused now, uh, no worries, I'm also confused. But the only thing which matters is having two check marks here. Um, one really cool thing is that you can hit export here and then um, all of this gets compiled into a spreadsheet. So you can see I just downloaded something called trainings.xlxx which is an Excel uh, spreadsheet, and that's what you hand into your auditors. So that essentially exports everything with our philosophy of keeping everything in Formwork completely exportable so you can move to another system if you're unhappy, which makes us the only company on the planet which makes it easy to take your data out of an EQMS. Cool, that was the trainings module. Um, hope you have fun and hope it saves you just as much time as it saves us and our consulting clients. If you have any questions, let me know. And if you actually currently don't have this purchased, uh, you can reach out to me anytime and we'll give you a free trial of two weeks or so so you can try this out for yourself.